New at six, Arizona is known around the country for its golf courses, but according to some, Tucson might have too much of a good thing. Nine on your sides, Kevin Bowden reports the city is again wondering what to do about the future of its courses. The city of Tucson owns five golf courses and a recent report indicates as one city council member tells me that they're cannibalizing each other and he says now it's time to take a good hard look at the future viability of all five courses in Tucson. Tea times are easy to come by in Tucson. Part of the city, you can't beat it. But according to a recent memo to city council members, that's becoming a problem. It says the city's courses are now stealing business from each other. Should the city of Tucson run five golf courses? Probably not. Should we run some? Probably so, because they have a good tourism uh, impact to the area as well. So we have to look at more than simply the profit and loss on each individual course. The memo says the courses need $25 million in upgrades over 15 years, but they will likely never be able to generate that money. Now it's decision time. It's not only whether to continue to have golf at all these locations, but what are the other alternatives? Um, and the community needs to know that as well. The memo suggests shrinking some courses and creating parks with a leftover space or selling the land. But city and federal regulations govern how these sites are used and development may be in fact the hardest option. Even golfers admit the city is in a hard place. I'll tell you honestly, I don't know how they make money on these courses. I don't. You know, they don't charge us very much, and it's the use of a, a lot of resources. Now the city is conducting public meetings to gather input about what to do about its golf courses. Kevin Bowden, Kega, Night on Your Side.